We're really close to my face because I don't want to set up my backdrop. <laughs> this is a shower curtain. I don't know why I'm so like nervous. Like I'm like, oh, I don't know where to begin. Hold on, I should introduce myself. I'm Sinead from the makeup chair. Usually you're used to seeing one eye, but I have two eyes and a face, which I hope does not become my catchphrase. I do have another eye and an entire face, so hi. But yes, most of you are probably used to seeing just one eye, but I actually have a face. And uh, today I'm not gonna be Hold it together, Sinead. <laughs> You're fine. Uh, so yeah, today I'm not gonna, oh my gosh, why am I crying? All right, today I'm not gonna be doing like a teaching sort of thing, but I'm just gonna be doing my makeup and doing it on camera. And I may put this video private eventually, I don't know. I'm blabbering, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna get into putting some makeup on my face. I'm gonna put some lip balm on because my lips are so dry. I don't know why. That's the Dr. Papa. I don't think I'm gonna tell you everything I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna put it on the screen or in the description box or something. Unless it's something that I do end up talking about. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing today. I've already done my skincare. So I'm just gonna go into doing makeup skincare. We'll use the primer. So the reason I was gone is because my illness has been acting up. Those of you who don't know, I have joint hypermobility syndrome. It's like part of the elders. I can never pronounce it, so it's EDS. A lot of people have EDS. There's so many different variations. It makes your body react in ways that like don't make sense. I usually have one week a month where I feel fine and I didn't have it this month. So it was a mix up with my medication. So I was feeling like really low and really down. It just makes me feel not myself. I don't like what I see when I look in the mirror because all I see is my illness like looking back at me and then I can feel my illness and not only am I looking at it, but I can feel it. I think anybody with an illness will have those times when you're just, you know, trying your best to keep going and just getting knocked back. But I shouldn't complain because I know it could be a lot worse People have it a lot worse than me, so I shouldn't complain. And then you kind of feel guilty about it because you're like, get over yourself, Sinead. Like, yeah, it would be great if you didn't have an illness. That would be amazing, but you do, so accept it. But sometimes it's really hard to accept it. Sometimes you're just like, why? Why does this, why do I have to take like, what am I on now? Five different medications a day, why? Oh, I'm turning, this is turning into a big rant. I'm not gonna rant, it's fine. But I just wanted to explain where, what was going on with me, where I was. I love doing this as my job and I just, I hate missing out on it. I hate missing an upload. I used to check in on Instagram every day and I don't do that anymore. But like that's a mixture of a few different things. It's gonna turn into a rant again. I'm not gonna do that. Um, I wanna just be back to like being freer and it's very hard to be like so free and just even be out in public at the moment is impossible. I don't wanna go out of the house with everything so that's really difficult but then being online is really difficult so i feel kind of in a bubble like trapped in like a little bubble it's the start of a new month so let's just <laughs> now we're going to be positive start of a new month and i'm just going to try and go with it and just be like if i want to do stuff i want to do stuff just not a struggle not a difficult thing just putting makeup on because i like makeup why am i crying it's so silly and i'm going to stop crying now and we're going to have some fun and put some makeup on so I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer and mix it in with my primer, my eyeshadow primer. Cause when I wear an eyeshadow primer, I'm like wearing eye makeup. But if I mix it with my concealer, it doesn't feel like a lot of makeup. I'm gonna take a sponge and this is just like a disposable sponge, but I don't dispose of them. I put them in those little bra bags that you can get for like washing your delicate bras in the washing machine. I put all of these in there and then I put it in when I'm putting, like I'm cleaning my towels and all my makeup stuff. I remember mentioning this before and people are like, that's such a waste of a wash. And I'm like, no, I put them in with other things. I'm not just putting them in the washing machine by themselves because that would be very wasteful. I'm sorry about my throat. I took my medication and it always makes my throat kind of croaky and so I'm very, very sorry. I know that sometimes when you're watching somebody or talking to someone who has a sore throat, you keep clearing your own throat. I hope that I'm not making you guys do that. I'm trying to like keep it so it doesn't sound croaky, but it just sounds kind of like that's on there. You can use your fingertips, but um, it's quite early and the sponge is damp and cold and I just feel like that helps with my eyes to kind of soothe them in the morning, so. Okay, I'm gonna use this palette. This is a new one, I haven't, I haven't used it. So it's the NARS. Um, I'm a bit of a prude, so I'm not gonna say what it is, but you know what I'm talking about, the, the very famous NARS blush. They came out with um, a collection for that NARS blush. They sent me it. This is the one that I'm using today. This is, um, I'm gonna put it on the screen. It's such a prude. You see that? Can you see how pretty it is? This shade here, right here, it like glittered. It like catches the light and goes all glittery. It's so pretty. <laughs> that glitter shade is so pretty. Where's my focus? 
somewhere there. Ooh. I'm gonna take the E13. I'm gonna take the matte shade. So it's like a dusty rose. Eek. It's a little bit damp. Don't use a brush damp, you don't need to. I'm just gonna work this. Do you know what? I'm just gonna work it everywhere. All over my lid, into my crease. And I have to be very careful building this up because my brush is wet and we will end up with a disaster if I don't take my time. I apologize for the seagulls. I live by the sea and so I have seagulls, but I love them. They make me happy. I also have pigeons that sleep on my windowsill every night. It's so funny because I used to have pigeons. They weren't like my pets because they were wild. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you know that I had Sam, but I moved and then when I moved, I started getting an identical pigeon because pigeons look different. I know everyone thinks pigeons look the same. They actually look very different, but I had an identical pigeon that now sleeps on my windowsill, even though there's no way that it's Sam. There's no way <laughs> that would be, he can't have followed me, but he looks exactly like Sam and he sleeps in my window. I wish it was Sam, that would be sweet. This shade is very pink. Well, it's like a peachy, peachy pink, but I love that it's matte though. It's a really beautiful matte pink, but I'm doing like little swirling motions and I'm picking up a very small amount of product as I apply it. And I'm starting here. Like every time I pick it up, I'm like here and then I kind of blend. And I'm bringing that onto the lid, like working my way in and then tilting my hand down and just running it across like my little hood here, just like that. So it's gonna disperse it upwards and that's gonna kind of camouflage that hood Make sure you're keeping within your lines, imaginary line, corner of the nose, corner of the eye, corner of the brow, like this. You wanna keep your, your eyes working in this sort of upwards motion or at least keep this area clean. And then for the inner corner, I find for me a very complimentary way is to match that parallel line. So I have it like, so it's here and then I bring the parallel line in here. Does that make sense? They're parallel to this way so that the eyeshadows are working up like that. And I use my tear duct. So it's like, it stops at my tear duct. Does that make sense? So I like bring it in and then I kind of sweep it down so it stays within these this line here, like this. I put a bit of tan on last night and it's kind of nice. Well, it doesn't look like on camera because I'm a ghost. It looks so airbrushed and soft. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything less from NARS. Like I would want them to be this good and they are. <laughs> so that's good. It's a little pink kind of blending in with my background. So just to kind of neutralize this pink, I'm just gonna take a yellow tinted powder. This is my powder that I use to like set my makeup because it has a little bit of yellow tone. And this is gonna neutralize a little bit of that pink. Just tone it down a little bit. It's gonna look like I'm not wearing makeup and that's fine. Yeah, I kind of like that. It doesn't really look like I'm wearing anything. I'm gonna take, just using my fingertip. Oh, it's so and tap it on this outer corner. Oh my gosh. That is so beautiful. I'll do a Monday makeup lesson with this up close maybe, but when I tell you that this eyeshadow is like a dream, it's like glittery sand on a beautiful beach. Like the sun's going down, and so the sand has that kind of golden color. When you walk on it, it like moves. You know that beautiful sand, but it's glitter. It's like if that sand was glitter. I'm getting very excited over this. I take a little brush. This is actually for my lips, but I'm going to take the highlighter shade and just tap this under the brows, her corner. They do have another one as well, which is like purples and pinks. That's really pretty too, but I'm not showing you it to its full extent at all because you're over there. It's really pretty. Just trust me. I need some darkness in here. E01. Handy dandy E01. Best brush ever. And I'm just gonna take this on this outer corner. Soft and subtle. Every brand is coming out with a new mascara. It's like, tis the season for mascara, apparently. This is the Lash Free by Urban Decay. When you get a new mascara, it's always very goopy. Like the first few times I use a new mascara, I'll just wipe off the excess. It's sitting there in its tube, waiting for you to use it. And when you first take it out, it's got a lot of buildup. So just wipe it off a little bit. It looks like a dragon, like a dragon's face. They should have called it the dragon. Missed out there, Urban Decay. You know, the little ridges on its back? That's what it looks like. And those little ridges are catching your lashes. There's some pretty cool drugstore mascaras that have come out as well. So I feel like doing a video on all the different ones. Gotta turn my hand over here to do that. Cause otherwise you get a different shape. Cause doing like this shape and this shape, they're gonna end up two different. You gotta flip your hand over in order to get the same shaping. What do you guys think of it? I feel like there's a lot of length, not so much 
mm, volume. I mean, I, but I feel like there's a lot of darkness. I'm gonna put lashes on anyway. I'll leave the eyes for a while and we'll, I'll come back in a little bit. I'm gonna do my face. Crush my makeup on my face now. I haven't actually been wearing foundation and particularly when I feel like this, all I like to do is do my eyes. But we'll put on a little bit of foundation. I'm gonna be using the Note Cosmetics. I don't know if you can get this in other countries, but it's like popular here. Detox and Protect Foundation. And I have the shade 7 Apricot for some reason. Far too dark for me. So I'm gonna put in the um, Body Shop Lightning Drops. And let's be honest here, I'm gonna be mostly using the Lightning Drops. So it's gonna be like the Lightning Drops plus a drop of this because I'm a ghost. I actually, I got a tan on my back. Oh, getting these drops out is really weird. I was doing some gardening and not realizing that my back was exposed while I was doing gardening. And I have just like, it's like this across my back of just brown. It's funny because I haven't seen myself that dark naturally in so long, like since I was a kid, because I've always wear SPF and always like cover up and stuff. So it was really funny to like see how brown my back is. And it's just like a strip of like, it looks really funny. I started using the sponge. I meant to use my brush, but anyway. Sorry, brushes. <laughs> kind of work the foundation along here. I know that sounds, it's, it's, it goes against the rule, but I don't like to have too much coverage in here. So I kind of place it along here and then I bring it up, which is like the opposite of what you're supposed to do. When I start in the middle and blend out, which I do sometimes, I start in the middle and blend out, I end up with so much product in here and then it always goes cakey. So I started from the out and work in and I, works for me now. Da 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 da, F20. So this is like a flat topped brush and I'm just gonna like press. I'm actually really glad that I left my hair in my rollers because it is so much easier to do my makeup when my hair is up like this. It like keeps it away from my face. I've actually had a few people ask me to do a hair tutorial. So I'm gonna do that soon. And also people have been asking like, what do I ask my hairdresser to do to cut my hair? But I cut my own hair. I recently um, added highlights to my hair. It took me three days because I was doing it a little bit at a time. I watched Brad Mandos, Brad, Brad Mandos, Brad, Brad Mandos. That's his name. I watched his videos and I was learning from him. I learned how to do my highlights, even though he says not to do them at home, but I did it anyway. And it worked out. I feel like I've watched like all of his videos, all of his videos, all of Robert's videos, Kendall's videos, Georgina Marie. Oh, Bailey Sarian. Oh, and Jen. I shouldn't start naming people because I'm gonna miss out people and then I wouldn't be annoyed at myself. So I've been watching Bailey Sarian's videos. She does true crime. She does makeup. I struggle to watch them because real people are scary because I watch Robert's makeup and ghost stories, which is kind of a play on Bailey Sarian's videos. They don't scare me, even though they're ghosts. They're ghost story. People are scarier than ghosts. I actually have so many ghost stories. I was gonna send them into Robert, but then I was thinking I might just tell some of them over like Halloween because I don't want to take it from people getting the chance to have Robert read them out when I already have like a platform that I could share. I've been trying to keep track of a few different stories, things that happened to me and my different, my family members. Dad told me one about his uncle. I won't go into it too much because I'll probably share it in the video. But he ends up getting into a ghost car. <laughs> this sounds so crazy. He ends up getting into a ghost car and then he go, he, but he didn't realize it was a ghost until he talked to other people and they were like, oh yeah, no, that guy's not real. That's a ghost. You're not the only one who's seen him. So that's a whole story to tell you. Foundation is on. We're doing all right. Davey still hasn't woken up yet. Unless he is awake and he's hiding because he doesn't want to disturb me. Inglot powder, it's the illuminating powder. It's probably not for your face, but I like the glow that it gives me. I haven't used this powder in forever, but you know what? It works. The only person who's going to see me in real life is Davey and I don't think he minds. F41, which is my favorite blush brush ever. I'm gonna take the shade. Do these have names? Oh, they do have names. Oh, I apologize. Okay, hold on. Subtly Sun-Touched and Bare Glow, which are two matte shades. And I'm gonna use the brush and kind of curve around my cheeks like this, because it's like, it's a flat brush. It's a flat round brush. <laughs> there are two different things, Sinead. Curve around like that. Catches the top and like goes over over the cheeks. So instead of working from like the apple out, I kind of curve over the apple from like the lower part over, like over the hill. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna bring it up around my hairline because I can. This shade is, is quite neutral. It's not too warm or too cool. And you never wanna bring anything too cool around your hairline because it looks muddy. We want to use slightly warmer shades. So this works as sort of a blush 
contour bronzer mix on here and then I can also bring it up around my hairline. My sister actually did my makeup. It was her birthday, but she did my makeup for fun. She did this really high application for the blush. She also did my eyebrows like really bold. It was cool. I had like a blonde wig. Yeah, that was on my Instagram, but she did this technique where she applied my blush like up here and then down like, like from the top of my ear. She like started a little higher and then she kind of bring it down along here and I loved it. She mostly does sort of different time zones, time zones, <laughs> not different time zones, different eras different like people from movies and stuff like that because it's her face but she changes it all the time but she doesn't change it so it's not like shading and shaping and like anything crazy it's like just makeup being used in a particular way to create a different look which I prefer because it's fun to like dress up without dressing up do you know what I mean? For blush, I'm gonna be using these two shades here. So one of them's matte and one of them's shimmer. So I'm gonna combine the two, just a little bit, just like that. See, see, this is how my sister did it. Like she did it like way up here and I love it. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the gold. Cause why not, we're here, why not? That, tap that, a little bit of highlight. It looks all right. <laughs> it's really hard to tell, I know, cause my rollers are like dropping and stuff. Get up there, you. Check out this eyebrow thing, it's really cool. I might do a full video on this because I really like it. It's called the Unbelievable, Unbelievable, Unbelievable Brow. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like a foolish person right now. But anyway, it's awesome. It's by L'Oreal. I have it in the shade Dark Brown and it's like a gel. It looks like a liquid lipstick, but it's for your eyebrows. I'm gonna brush through the brows with the spoolie first. So I'm just gonna take my pinky and rest it on my cheek and I'm gonna start going kind of through the brows. And I'm, I'm like literally tapping the skin like this, coating the hairs, almost like a mascara coating the hairs, but I'm then also catching the skin underneath so I'm creating like lines. And I'm going in the direction that the hairs are growing out of to start with. And then what I do is I then kind of brush them up to finish and I feel like that brushes the product through. So yeah. That's how I do my eyebrows. Those are my eyebrows. I kind of work from like here out and then I just kind of use whatever's left over and bring it in here. I'm gonna move on and apply some lashes. I always get asked about lashes and I use the cheapest ones I can get and I go to deals or I go to pennies and pennies have like these little, th I think they're called 3D lashes. They're like three euro and I like those ones. But then I also found these in deals, deals. So deals is like the dollar store. Poundland, if you live in the UK, if you live in Ireland, we call it deals. They're like 150. I'm not gonna name any brands but there's a brand that are selling their lashes for like 650. And in my opinion, these are better and they're only 150. I'm not gonna say anything. I will say that there's an inconsistency with the lashes though, just a little bit. Sometimes they're better than other times. Hi, baby. Hi. Thank you. Sorry, just That's okay. All right, lashes are... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, my lashes are on. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. It's the Inglot eyelash curler and I love it, but it doesn't open very wide. So it's like, I have to like feed the lashes in there. Very gentle, little squeeze. And then when you're releasing, gotta be careful so that it doesn't stick. For underneath the eyes, I'm gonna take the EO1 and we're gonna do our little squash that we always do. You put your finger there and you like squash it out like that. This is the little technique that we do all the time. Take that matte shade that we used and I'm just gonna run this under the eyes like this. And then we can open it up, hold it quite far down and just blend it out. Apply that underneath there. The question I get asked all the time is um, about my nails and I don't get them done because I can't afford to get them done. So I do them myself and I use, they're really cheap, I'll show you. These are my recent favorites. They are by Pennies or Primar. Once you file them down, you can get this type of a shape and they last for about like a week to 10 days. You can hear that noise, that's Davy having Chinese food. I'm not gonna apply any lipstick because I don't like my lips. I had to get um, a bruise on my lip removed. No one else can see it but me, it's all in my head, I know. I just don't wear lip products very much. Lips need to be scrubbed. I should probably do that. Dr. Papa lip scrub. Awesome. It has a scrub on one side and a balm on the other side. So it's all handy. And I should have done this before I did anything else, but I forgot. I'm going to take my rollers out. I'll just mention real quick about how I do my hair. Steamer hair straightener, but I curl as I'm as I'm doing it and I pop them in rollers with each section and I use just different different size rollers and I just whack all of these out of my head and then I just run my hands through it to kind of loosen it up. I have a cowlick so I kind of have to adjust my hair depending on what my cowlick wants to do. 
I take my front section where my parting is in the middle and I very lightly kind of do this. So I'm like, so I'm not like pulling it back. I'm like feeding it almost in a curve shape. And sometimes I'll leave this bobby pin in while I'm kind of getting ready. And then I do another bobby pin back here, kind of following it. So I'll take the next section and I'll just bobby pin that too. Today I'm going a little more casual. Just where my arch is, like I'll come up to my hairline and then I'll bring it back and like separate it like this. I uh, hope that you guys enjoy this. Again, I know it's not my best quality. I just wanted to check in with you guys. I haven't filmed in a while, so I just kind of needed to get back into it. Maybe you just enjoyed this while you were cleaning or doing something else. Um, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope that you've had a good week since I talked to you last. For the people who are regularly here, for the people who are like new here and are still watching right to the end, hi. <laughs> That's nice of you. If you're live over in the chat, hi. Thanks for sticking around. I think the chat disappears once the video goes, so I'm gonna just lengthen this just so I can say goodbye to everybody. So just wanna say thanks to everybody who joins in on the live chat. I'd love to do a live video soon, maybe. That would be fun. Just check out the videos on the screen now. Around, where are they? Oh, and around. And um, I'll see you in a video next Monday, hopefully. No, I will be, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll be back to my reg 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 regular. <laughs> oh, this video is not good. It's not good. Okay, I may make this private. Okay, bye guys. Bye. Have a good day.